Hey guys, this is Pastor Scott with uh, another Bible review, and I'm really excited about this one. Uh, yeah, I've heard some good things about it in the past, and uh, I haven't ever checked it out until uh, this weekend. Uh, this week, actually, Joni, our service leader, had uh, said she was asking about what study Bibles to get and whatnot, and recommended a few different things, and I said, just get a study Bible. It doesn't really matter which one you get. They they all have their good points and their not so good points and such. And you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's just the fact to get into God's word and to study and uh, for me to really get into like the historical and some of the things, uh, the historical facts and whatnot and different statistics and things to me is important and uh, just the cross references and such. But today I have the privilege uh, she decided to go with the Dake Annotated uh, Reference Bible. It's a King James Version, so let me just take this cover out and show you guys. Don't know if you can see that uh, from where you're at, because I'm over here trying to do this review. But uh, yeah, it's here's the cover, and here's what it says. It's got four columns to a page with text and notes, side by side, complete concordance that lists every... Bible word, 9,000 headings to divide the text, you know, like where it says like parable of the sower or the feeding of 5,000, whatever, 9,000 headings to divide the text, 35,000 commentary notes, more than 8,000 outlines for sermons, uh, literalizing of scripture, definitions of key Hebrew and Greek words, complete summary at the conclusion of each book. And i also add to that, there's also a, like a one sentence uh, header uh, at the beginning of each, that kind of tells you what the book is about, and then afterwards, there's a summary type of uh, uh, of the book of each book of the Bible. Easy finger tip fact finder. I don't know what that's all about. And here's the key right here: over five hundred thousand helpful cross references and chain references for study. That's what I'm really into. Um, and anyway, this thing is a beast. It, it's. It's by Dake, Phineas Dake, I believe, um, regardless of theological debates and <clears throat> doctrinal differences and all that stuff. This thing is unbelievable, unbelievable. Um, I've never seen anything like it before, and I have Bibles all over this place. As a matter of fact, we got boxes of stuff that we're trying to limit down, um, but I have Bibles on just about everything. I got a prayer Bible here right next to my desk. I got a prophecy Bible here right next to my desk. I got a expository Bible right here. And I got study Bibles from MacArthur, Nelson, Spurgeon, uh, apologetic ones, all kinds of them. But this one, I'm telling you, look at this butte. I call it the tank. It's the Dake Annotated Reference Bible KJV. One Accord Crusades Ministry is KJV preferred. We will reference other uh, versions and such for learning and understanding purposes, but the official uh, translation for One Accord Crusades is, in fact, King James. So I'm just going to share with you briefly. I can't see if you're commenting or what this looks like on your end. I won't know till later, but here we go, just briefly. It's a bonded leather, I believe, and it's it's a it's a tank. This is just a regular print size. There is a large print for you guys and myself. I like around nine ten prints somewhere in there. So this is a little bit smaller for me, um, but they do they do have bigger. So yeah, it's nice. Has a paste down, and there's no uh, reinforcement there. It's just a regular manufactured study bible of sorts has a few pick pages of cardstock the intro here and this page always gets messed up in the bibles and uh, right here you have a preface it tells you a little bit about him it says here that during the author's 100,000 hours and 43 years of searching scripture this all important and fundamental principle interpretation has been strictly consistently followed there and it goes over the novel uh interpretation method uh but a hundred thousand hours in 43 years i did the math on that that's about 6.5 hours of study per day and then inside the text the study bible text you'll find these little symbols a star for prophecy triangle for promise 
and a circle for command, and then a square is a message from God. And it's uh, that's from Phineas Jennings Dake, 1963. So this thing just gets right into it. Boom, right here. Not sure if you can see it, but we'll just try to get this in the screen here for you guys. This right here is the Bible, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the Bible are the two columns, and then the third column, and underneath here, this is all notes. This is a study Bible of study Bibles. It is filled with notes. There is more notes than the Bible itself. This is a study Bible. It has notes, and there is no shortage of it. I believe probably almost every single verse is has something to say about it, and you can see the little symbols right in here, and it's, it's very, very in-depth. And like I said, it says Genesis, the first book of Moses, book of beginnings, creation, fall, and covenants, patriarchs, 2,371 years, and eight covenants are, are recognized in the book of Genesis. So it just, I seen a review the other day by the King James store, and he just got us through these first five, <clears throat> five verses, and we already had from A to Z of notes. That's 26 different notes just on the first few verses. And then it starts over with an A asterisk and carries on. And then if it would need, I don't know if it carries on any further than that. Let me see. Asterisk. And then if the page has more than 26 plus 26, 52, then it goes into a plus symbol, A plus B plus. So it starts out with no symbol, then the asterisk, then plus. And this thing just goes on and on and on. And let me show you the end of Genesis. There is, uh, here's the summary. Okay, so we're at the end of Genesis. And it says, summary of Genesis. <clears throat> Date and place. Written either while the author was a shepherd with Jethro or at Sinai as an introduction to the law about 1688 B.C. Author Moses. Proof of authorship. There's a whole bunch of information here. And then 16 proofs. <coughs> Sorry, my voice. I was uh, reading and praying a lot. And then we've had services. So pray for my voice. I have to preach again on Sunday. But 16 proofs of Moses wrote the Pentateuch. There are internal and external proofs in here. There's 16 proofs of why he is believed to be the author of Genesis and then a theme pur purpose. And here's what's also cool, the statistics. The first book of the Bible, 50 chapters, 1,533 verses, 38,267 words, and it just goes on and goes on and goes on. 16 verses. Uh, chapter 16 has 16 verses. Chapter 32 has 32 ver verses, so on and so forth. There is 106 commands, 71 promises, 326 uh, prophecies, all kinds of good stuff in here. So this thing is just loaded. And like I said, look how big this is. Let me just open this up. Can you see? Bam! <laughs> it's huge. The wingspan is well over 12 inches. And it weighs a good 4 to 5 pounds of information in here. All kinds of articles. Even has the Jesus in red and then let's look at revelations i know some of you are really interested in revelations right now and it's a good time obviously to be in the prophetic scriptures with all that's going on let's just take a look at this together revelations you know ends on chapter 22 22 here we go And then here we go. Summary of Revelation right there. Date and place written in Patmos about 96 AD. And then the one thing I do like about uh, Dake is he gives a uh, chapter and verse on everything. I mean, that I've seen so far. Uh, if it's in the Bible, he puts a chapter and verse. And then he also references uh, historical evidence and different things outside the Bible as well to, to argue the points that are in the Bible as well. And uh, so here's the summary of revelation, uh, revelation and Revelation notes continued. There are notes on every page. There are notes on every page of this. Um, 
like I said, a couple columns of the Bible, and then notes. That's the way it's laid out. A couple columns of the Bible, and then notes. And besides the notes on Revelation, it carries on from page 531. Looks like 531 to 543. So 12 pages of extra notes on the book of Revelation. And then at the end here you have New Testament commands. Not sure if you knew this. Uh, we are saved by grace. Amen. And uh, Jesus fulfilled everything. And uh, we have, you know, God's Ten Commandments. Then the 613 uh other commands or uh, bylaws or whatever you want to call mitz votes, if you want to get particular with the name. But there are also 1,050 commands in the New Testament, and every single one of them is listed here at the back of this Dake Study Bible. Every single one of them. And then also we have Bible plagues, uh, predominantly from Revelation. Those are continued on for pages and pages, and then Bible prophecies from the New Testament, summary of prophecies, and then there's a whole bunch of questions here, New Testament questions. And I mean, so the information just goes on and on and on, and every word in the King James Version of the Bible is listed in the concordance, and there is reference to each and every one of them, and it, I've never seen anything like it. There are over 500,000 cross-references. And like I said, the concordance contains every single word that is in the King James Version of the Bible. And then right before this concordance, look at this. This is, this is great, too. Let me see if we can find this. I, I saw it earlier, and I'll try to wrap this up for you guys. Hold on one second. This was really neat at the beginning of the concordance. I hope you guys can actually see this. Um, I know you can't see the small print, but I'm trying to show you or tell you what I am seeing here. Let's check this out. Of the 12,143 English Bible words below, and this is in the concordance in the Cyclopedic Index, about 89% or 10,822 have completed references in this Bible, but they're all listed in here, all of them. All means all. Every single word in the King James Version of the Bible is listed in the back of this big study Bible, and then you got pages for personal notes, and then you have some wonderful maps, and like I said earlier, regardless of your doctrinal dis differences, or what you think, or what you think he thinks, or what you think that person thinks, who cares? Rightly divide the word of truth and, and pull out of it the meat that you need. Spit out the fat and the bones and uh, continue on. But there's charts and maps. You got the old sanctuary, the tent, and the plan of the ages. And it just goes on. It has in its full color in this version. Now, there is the whole list on the bottom here. And then... There's also, it's like blown up so you can see like what section. So the original uh, plan and then like this section right here along the bottom, it carries on through the whole thing. Then they circle it and they blow it up on this side so you can see what you're actually looking at here. And this goes on for pages and pages of pages. Whether you're a dispensationalist or not, that's besides the point. Um, the timeline is here and it's laid out and it it's, uh, looks pretty solid. I got a Prophecy Bible uh, by Morris Cirillo, and they did a wonderful job, too, and this is really in-depth. Can't wait to dig into it. Got a few nice full-color maps in the back, and then a few pages uh, here, two at the front, two, three, four in the front, four in the back, eight total of these nice card stock to help keep the Bible together, and obviously for notes. So, yeah, that's Pastor Scott uh, just giving you a quick review of the Dake Annotated Reference Bible, King James Version, regular print. <clears throat> they do have a large print. I believe this is probably 8.5 or less. And then I believe the uh, large print version of this is maybe 10 points or more, something like that. And it would be a lot bigger. I've seen the, the reviews on that. This one is here. The large print comes out to about here and about here. 
Amen. So uh, our service leader, Joni, <clears throat> let me to have this, and I just love it. I haven't been able to put it down. Uh, it's almost information overload. There is so much in here. This thing is is just a, I call it the tank. <laughs> Boom. Anyway, it's Pastor Scott checking out. If you guys need anything at all, give us a call at one 70 jesus uh, log on to our website at oneaccordcrusades.com. And I think this one probably run you about 50 bucks, something like that. And then close to 100 for the large print Bible. So God bless you guys. I hope and pray that you guys were blessed. Um, study to show thyself to prove a workman that need not to be ashamed. God bless you all. I'll just wave at a few of you that I can here. I don't know what angle this looked like. God bless you.